All right. Hey, my name is Henry Dennis. I'm the founder of Afro Rainbow Austria. I'm a lesbian African woman who opposes borders and loves to wake up every day lesbian in everywhere. <laughs> Hello, my name is Oliver and I'm a trans guy who makes videos about LGBTQIA plus people where they get to talk about anything that they want that somehow relates to them being queer. I recently got back home to Sweden after about three weeks of traveling by train through Europe and in Vienna, Austria, I met up with Henry Dennis. I'm Henry Dennis. I'm Nigerian. I'm a lesbian woman. I actually don't always tell my pronouns. In Europe, I'm Shiha. Outside of Europe, I don't care about the pronoun. I use every pronoun. And also because I don't want to get caught up in the Eurocentric definition of pronouns. These things where the West fusses you on everybody, you know, when to use what and when not to and when to question what. So I also protest this style of centralizing whiteness. But besides that, just call me Henry. Yes. <laughs> and Henry is and does a lot of stuff. I'm a queer activist, but I'm also an art curator. I'm a writer too. I'm a mother. <laughs> I'm a lover um, and I also am the founder of Afro Rainbow Austria. Afro Rainbow Austria is uh, the first and currently in Austria the only organization born from African queer migrants here in Austria and our base is in Vienna. We center our energy on, on telling our stories, our truth and fighting for the rights of um, queer Africans. And this is what she means when she says African. I always say queer Africans, you know, but generally we focus on queer people of African descent. But bearing in mind that there's also like a hierarchy of, you know, blackness, depending on when you arrive, what passport you hold, what language you speak. You know, but we kind of like focus on the general. We join in the struggle of um, every queer person of African descent here in Vienna and in Europe generally and in the world. But we prioritize queer Africans. So this is a platform where we also get to exist. And it's a community. Nobody's forced to be anything. We fight for a right and we tell our stories and we celebrate our bodies the way we choose to. This is how it all started. I uh, migrated to this country and I spoke no German. I used to party a lot. <laughs> I mean, I still do, <laughs> but on a lower scale, <laughs> you know. I enjoy good vibes, you know, so I would go to... I'm not going to advertise any, <laughs> any event, but there was one particular lesbian club in that was always happening once a month and I would literally be, I would go in there and be the only African lesbian there, you know. At the beginning I didn't really care, but I remember seeing another person in there one time, you know, I'm like, uh, maybe it's just getting too dark, you know, and then I'm like, oh, shoot. I ran up to this person and I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, and you could see the excitement in her eye, you know, and so we just bonded and it was uh, a lesbian woman from, from Kenya and we just talked to her, we literally party every time. So at some point, you know, I needed to, you know, settle in. But then I noticed when I sorted myself out, the system started annoying me. It was annoying me before, but I didn't make it my priority. You know, but at some point, you know, it was like, shoot, I needed to, <laughs> I couldn't take so many things. But at that time, there were so many black communities that were functioning, but I didn't find myself in any of them, you know, because I'm not just a person of African descent, you know, I'm a queer person of African descent. And I didn't want to be in a closet for anyone because that's um, also the reason why I migrated to this country, you know, so I wasn't ready to give up everything to come and take in all the bullshit. So prior to um, founding ARA, I was pretty much just like now, active in um, other organizations too. So I went in search of queer Africans. So I literally went to everywhere I knew I would find any drop of queerness. You know, and like, ah, oh, yo, where are you from? You know, you know, 
do you want to hang out? Do you want to meet? So we started off as a party actually. Yeah, in 2017 I went out for the search, 2016-17. And then we hung out a bit. And these hangouts were very successful. After a while, I saw the excitement. I think we took a break for like two, three months. And I remember walking down the street of Vienna and Julius is his name. And he just yelled, Henry! He's a gay man from Uganda. And I'm like, who is that? He's like, ah, Henry, when is the next party? When is the next party? You know, like, you want it? Yes! You know, I'm like, okay. <laughs> so we can do it. You know, but I spoke, you know, we got it again and we, we talked about it, you know, and and for me, I know how violent this structure is, you know, the Viennese um, bureaucratic structure. And it was important not just to have a community that they can bully, you know, and push around. So we needed to do it right according to their lead regulations. So we registered as an organization. And since um, 2018, we've been legally running as an organization. So we also we do performances, art performances, um, workshops, support people in the, their different um, asylum procedures. Bear in mind that not every queer person of African descent comes in here as an asylum seeker. There are some that were born here, you know, they just want to, to belong somewhere, you know and they want to be in the space where they are seen. So we kind of like, yeah, we're focused on ourselves, you know, and things that we need, you know, and you don't have to be anything. You don't have to do anything. So, yeah. To sum up, here are Henry's dreams and hopes for the future. My personal hopes and dreams is we grow every time in knowledge, in capacity. And so we, we grow and we're ready to welcome newbies. So I'm also a no border activist. I oppose border. For example, you can travel everywhere you want to. Why can't every other person travel everywhere they want to? You know? Why and how has whiteness succeeded in bullying people, you know? And deciding who gets to do what when, you know? So one of my hope, which is something we have kind of like, um, we are on the track as an organization is to mean something in Europe, you know. We want to have the capacity to be able to support every queer African that needs to be supported, you know. And yeah, it's a journey, but we're in that journey. If you enjoyed watching that video, please like, comment, subscribe and share the video. I really appreciate you showing your love in that way. If you also want to support the channel financially, that's possible via Patreon, but really no pressure. See you next time.